Today we need to get into people saying that Joan Cook's shower pictures were leaked. We also need to get into Asa Seng saying she jumped and kissed Joan Cook outside the military, or at least that's what people are scared of. And then we have a girl recording Joan Cook in his home in a new viral trend. Say so, dumplings is Dave to say hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. And grab your dumpling and his spilling mug merch and let's go. There's been this new viral trend that's going around that I think has made people and ARMY specifically extremely excited. This trend itself is silly and goofy. So what is it and what is going on? Well, before we get into that, I have to give some context and something that has been going on for ages. Fans for a long time, either just big fans or people who like to ship members together, have always tried to edit the BTS members with other people. Either Jungkook with Lisa or Jungkook with IU. There exists so much of those edits everywhere. And the fandom usually makes it look super realistic. It's almost shocking how realistic. And this is why when the members get into a dating rumor, people can't really tell whether it's an edit or not because the edits actually look really real. Now fast forward, people have some things to say about the new trend that is happening. Fans have been trending Jungkook girlfriend on social media and then photoshopping themselves or editing themselves in a video to make it appear like Jungkook and them are dating. This is very cute because it's completely harmless and most of the time you can tell that it's edited. So it's not a big deal at all. There was one video that ended up going viral that armies were so excited about because it looks so real. This TikToker took a clip of Jungkook during a live stream in either his apartment or in his house. And I believe during the live stream, he was with Taeyang. She made it look like she was in inside either Jungkook's hotel or apartment and that she was hanging out with him. It looked extremely real and all the comments were just saying how funny this is and how she won the trend. This is extremely hard to do. Even if you're an expert video editor, it still will take a little bit of time to do this, ranging from making sure if you do record yourself that you have the same lighting that Jungkook has in the shots. You also need to make sure that the video resolution matches that of Jungkook's and then you need to crop yourself out of your video and put it in a new video that is with Jungkook. So it's a long process and a lot of effort. So bravo. I thought this was so funny because there were so many armies that were trying to do this trend and trying to make themselves next to Jungkook. Most people do it with the photo and then they'll edit themselves in or some people will do two separate photos where it's them and then Jungkook and then just say that they're both dating because they're wearing the same shirt or whatever it is. But rarely have I ever seen an edit that was actually this good. I've said so before and I will say so again. Armies could literally be professional photo editors or edit for movies with how good they are at creating these things. But Jungkook hasn't just been trending for this silly news of a talented woman in his apartment, but also something that people have been worried about and we need to talk about it a little bit. If you are not aware, when Jin first enlisted, he had the nation on a chokehold as everyone was wondering how BTS members were going to do in the military. As the other members started to join, there became less talk about that. However, people were also wondering how the other soldiers in the camp would react to Jin being in the military now. One soldier posted on social media that he had walked by Jin during his shower and noticed that Jin had a world star member. This caused a lot of controversy online as people thought this was SA and people thought that this was not something that should have been ever revealed to the public nor should have been posted online. I absolutely agree. Whatever you see in the military during the showers should not only not be talked about but should be kept to yourself. First off, you look like an absolute perv for talking about someone in the shower. Second, of all, perhaps Jin wouldn't want such a post to exist online, but now it does. There were many posts talking about how people were scared that since Jungkook was enlisted and taking showers, that he would be a victim of such an action as well, with one post talking about how they felt people were snapping their cameras when BTS members got in the shower in the military. However, we do need to talk about the legitimacy of that actually happening, and also the legitimacy of what happened with Jin. The likelihood of someone sneaking into the military, let alone sneaking into the military shower with the camera, is going to be very low. That is not something that would happen and not something that would happen very easily as there's a lot of security in the military and also there's people at the door watching and waiting for people to come in and out of the bathroom. It's not like something that someone can just come in and out of without being noticed. So there is a chance that the original post that was talking about Jin could have just been a post that was made in order to get 
a lot of likes or they thought that by posting this they would get a lot of attention and it did it worked however that probably didn't actually happen as that person probably never actually was in the shower watching Jin naked and showering in this case I also believe that Jungkook would be very safe from this type of situation as well and I feel like if he was noticing someone in the shower with a camera this would be triggering for him and I can see him throw some punches and there's usually nowhere to hide it's not like they can hide in the bathroom vents or just walk in and take the photo from the entryway. However, I can definitely imagine that the thought or the idea that someone could have seen the members of private or write about it is quite disturbing. I don't even see it as super disturbing for them as much as I see it as disturbing for the viewers, knowing that even someone as powerful and strong as them can't get away from people taking advantage of them. Unfortunately, that is the world we live in and we can always protest and request things to be looked into and have the label take legal action. But aside from that, there really isn't too much we can do if this type of stuff is going to happen. But it's not just within the showers that people are upset or scared that there could be this weird action going on. People have also been scared that out Inside the camp or when Jungkook is going on break that he could be a victim of someone's attacks. So if you're unaware of how the military program works, you do the initial five week training process where you're just learning the basic training stuff, how to use the weapons, wearing your gear, and just the regular stamina training and that sort of thing. And then afterwards, you're shipped off to your permanent location with your permanent duties where you will spend the rest of your military career there. This can be things like guarding the DMZ or guarding the border or guarding a politician or something, that sort of stuff. But something that I think a lot of people don't know is that sometimes with specific people, they do get a break in between that five week training period and then when they get shipped off. Sometimes a couple days, sometimes a few weeks. It just depends on their rank and it depends on various other things. Some people think that Jungkook has gotten a break and people are scared at what happened during that break. People were saying that if Jungkook leaves the camp, he might get attacked by Sa Sings and people trying to jump him in order to kiss him or whatever. And we can see that a lot of Zossings could get very overly protective. There was one situation that kept getting brought up over and over again because people think it's quite disturbing and they're scared that if Jungkook remains anywhere for too long, he might be at severe risk. This concern resurfaced as everyone was looking through old content and they found an alleged Zossing that was crying on camera as she was recording herself being very emotional over meeting or trying to meet Jungkook, saying words like she'll do anything to meet him and then crying like crazy. People were translating what she was saying from Spanish to English, saying things like she wanted to dive into his tattoos and then upset that Jungkook had quote unquote escaped her to even her posting that she had waited six hours at the airport for Jungkook. Of course, actions like this make a lot of armies really scared for Jungkook because if he is being stalked in such a capacity, why wouldn't other Sasings who are aware that Jungkook is spending weeks at the camp just decide to go and show up at the camp? They probably would. However, while I do think these people are a little off their rocker. I don't find them to be harmful in any way. I can't see that these people would have weapons on them. They just might lose it if they were to ever see Jungkook in person. I just think there should definitely be a study as to why these people are so attached to a person they've never met before and then go and waste money or time just to maybe see Jungkook. Like a concert or a fan meet is completely a different thing. There's a guarantee that you'll see who you're paying to see. But when it's things like going to the airport or trying to find Jungkook in New York City, there is no guarantee you will actually ever see him and then what a waste of an entire day. There's so much you could do on that day. Why not do it the honest way and build up a really honest and great fan club and then get welcomed in by Hive to one day meet Jungkook. There's just so many methods but these people choose the really creepy ones. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.